Hey friends, Squarespace just dropped some updates that will streamline your workflow and give you more control than ever. Let's get into it. Starting with number one, QR codes for all your pages. This is a really cool feature. If you go into any of your pages now, you now have the option to generate a QR code. So if you just click on the settings wheel on any of your pages, you'll see here there's this option for a QR code. Click on that and you have a QR code generated that you could download and use on any of your assets so that if you want to send people directly to that specific page, you can now do that within the tool. Now, one thing to note about the QR code that I think is a bit of a miss, and I hope they actually fix this, is that if in the future you decide to change your URL slug, well, technically you need to generate a new code. So here, if this is our about page, but we decide to call it about us for some reason, well, the QR code we generated, as you can see here, will be broken and you need to generate a new one because it looks like they link it directly. It would be awesome if they had an intermediary link so that it just always works and connects to this specific page page that would be awesome but in this case it looks like they don't do that yet so you'll need to know that if you set this up and you put this out there that if you change the url that code will not work and if you're looking for more help with designing your website, you have a great brand or a great idea, but you don't know how to lay out your content. I have a designer starter kit that gets people started quickly and easily. Check out that link down below. It is at its lowest price ever, and you could get that today. Now, this one I love. Let's talk about some AI updates they recently added. All right, in your navigation here at the bottom, you'll see the settings wheel, click on that. And then from there, you're gonna wanna go to marketing. When you click on that SEO appearance, click right here. And as you can see here, there's this SEO report that is brand new, a new feature that they just added where you could add metadata to all of your pages and alt text to all of your images using AI with just a click. As you can see here, I've already done this. And so they're checked off and they're good to go but you could easily set this up for your website in just a few seconds. Now, the next one I wanna talk about is the donation block. Squarespace recently did an update to this block that made it a lot more user-friendly and modern. Added some basic features for donations, but they did add two new features recently that I do wanna highlight. So if you go in and you have a donation block set up and then you go into edit the actual features, you do have the capability now, not just for the donation amounts to get set up or the custom amounts or covering the fees. What you also get is now you could have reoccurring donations that support quarterly and annual donations. They did not have this before, but they have it now, which is awesome. Gives you more control as you collect donations to give as many options as possible to your users. And I love the fact that you could actually set the default frequency here. So if you are asking for a higher dollar amount and that would be a yearly giving amount, well, you could set that up as the core way that people can give by default and so these amounts could be higher and it all makes sense versus saying I want you to give a lot of money every single week or month or whatever. Now, this next update is a big one. This is something that people have been wanting on the platform for a long time. It's something that I have custom coded for a lot of clients, and now it is built in with no extra code and you can start using it today. So let me give you a walkthrough. On any of your pages, you can go to any section and then be able to quickly add an anchor link. This is really useful if you're trying to send someone to a page, but a specific section on that page so that they can then take action there versus is saying go to this page and find that specific section you can send them directly there with an anchor link so on my site here i want to send people directly to schedule time with us and it's the third or fourth section on the page i could go to edit section and then here you're going to see this new box that says anchor link here i could put call to action or i could call it whatever i want I'll say appointment. And they also provide an easy shortcut for you to copy that link once you do generate it. And then you can use that wherever you like. So I'm gonna go up here just for now. And then I am gonna add this link in right here, just as if it was on this text and drop it in. Boom, it is there and we're good to go. I'll hit save. I'll exit here and then in this experience I could easily click here and as you can see it pulls me down to that specific section which is so useful for any landing pages or if you just need to get people to direct content especially if you have a lot of sections on your site. 
Now, this one's important, but it doesn't get a lot of attention. Squarespace is constantly, and a little bit too much, but they're constantly changing their navigation and their order and flow of all their pages and sections. So I'm gonna highlight a few things here of how I use the site, especially as someone who's in this weekly and things are moving around constantly. The first thing is I do wanna highlight that Pages now has more resources inside of it at the bottom. So you have marketing tools, system pages, and custom code all here. Now this is a huge win for a developer like myself because custom code here has both the core elements of custom code for me to be able to customize a website where I had to click around a lot more before. It's all here in one spot, which is awesome. Additionally, marketing tools are all here as well, where this used to be scattered throughout the website. The announcement bar, that's the bar that shows up at the top of your page, is here. The promotional pop-up, if you want to pop up on your site, is here too. And then your mobile information bar, which is kind of dated, but they still have it, obviously. That is here as well. For system pages, this is a great just user experience as well. 404 checkout and your lock screen, you can customize those here. You have them pre-built and you're good to go. So they're already here. You can start to use them right away. You don't have to build them. You don't have to think about them. And then from here, you got all of this built out. Now you can focus in on all your pages and how your site is presented in one place. But with that in mind, it is easy to get lost in this navigation. So the main thing I always try to do is use the forward slash and that helps me find whatever I'm looking for. So let's say for example, it's the SEO tab. I'll just type in the word SEO, go down here, hit enter and boom, I am in the SEO section just like that hit forward slash again, and I can hit code injection. It helps me navigate the site a lot easier and faster, especially as items in the navigation are moving. As far as I can tell, they haven't gotten rid of anything. They just moved it around a lot. And then they did add one feature because of it that makes it a little bit easier because they offer so many things where you could hide some things on your core navigation. Let me show you. All right, so here is our core navigation. You can click here on this icon and you could customize this sidebar. So let's say for example, you're not gonna take any invoicing through your website. Well, you could hide that. Donations as well. If you're not using it, you can get rid of it. Scheduling as well. Content and memberships, you could hide that as well. And even products, if you're not doing any of that, you could just hide it, close this out, and look how clean this navigation is now just by doing that. It's a really good touch, a really nice feature that they've added to simplify the menu and the navigation and help you as a unique business. Maybe you do a lot of content and memberships where you wanna highlight that or you're a nonprofit and you really wanna focus in on donations and making that easily accessible. You now have full control to do that. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I have a ton of content on Squarespace and other amazing tools that you could use to build your business. With that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.